Hey everyone, before we get into this video, I want to remind you that we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. If we can get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we'll give away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom. You know, that steel book, the pins, the art book, that poster. Should be good fun. Hopefully we get there. So why not subscribe to the channel and let's get into this news. So, the Nintendo Switch 2, right? We've been talking quite a bit about it. Really... Uh, most of this year, I would say there's been at least murmurs, and, and our last video was on potential specs of the supposed chipset that leaked last year that has been directly linked to MVN, MVN2, and that is the T239, which is a new Tegra chip that is based on the Orin chip. It's like a newer version of the Orin chip that it was really a successor to the original Tegra X1, uh, but is used in you know, smart cars and stuff like that. They use it in, in Teslas and things like that. Or I, I don't know if it's Tesla specifically using this chip, but it's, you know, those electric cars and all that using that stuff. What's interesting, of course, is finding out some real information about what's happening with this chip. And I need to give a huge shout out to YouTuber DocTray81 because this guy, man, he is scouring those LinkedIn profiles of employees at companies like it's nobody's business. He, he's always one of the first people to discover things. And what he discovered was this employee, uh, a physical design engineer, who now currently works at Intel. Okay? He works at Intel currently. But in his design profile, it shows that he previously worked for NVIDIA or worked at NVIDIA on the T239 project. Now, what company did he specifically work for inside NVIDIA? Well, he worked for Siliconus Technologies. Well, what is Siliconus Technologies? What do they do with NVIDIA? They actually specialize in providing on-site support for all tape-out critical tasks. And for those that don't know what a tape-out is, it means the chip is done and they're basically helping to get ready for mass manufacturing, right? That That's the layman's way of looking at it. If something's being taped out, it's finalized, it's done, and they're getting it through the manufacturing process so then it can be mass manufactured. Now, him no longer working on that project suggests that project's over and done with, and hence he's moved on to other things. And this company specializing in that suggests if he worked specifically on this chip at this company that works for NVIDIA, then this is what he was responsible for, making sure this chip could get taped out and ready to go for mass manufacturing. Now, we don't know, obviously, when this person changed jobs. We just know that they're already done with it. So that would mean as of today, you know, March 11th, March 10th, you know, around the time he posted this video because he made it yesterday, sometime recently, that chip has been done and has entered mass production. And because that chip is really the chip behind the Nintendo Switch 2, it, it's been you know, the NVIDIA leaks made it pretty clear that that is the case. Well, folks, that would suggest that the Nintendo Switch 2 is or has entered mass production. Now, you take that for what you will. We've heard other manufacturing reports out there, uh, such as from somebody who got uh, banned by Nintendo on a Chinese forum uh, for leaking a bunch of information. And the Nintendo ninjas finally got to him. And uh, we learned from that person, we talked about this in a different video, that while they have increased orders for the Switch OLED now, those orders are halved, more than halved, next month, and that later this year they're going to stop making Nintendo Switch components altogether for the current Switch, for the version 2 Switch. When that's what the Switch Lite, that's what the OG Switch and Switch OLED are, they're all working on the version 2 chip. Not the first Tegra X1 chip, but the slightly modified one with a little bit better battery life, but also fixes the easy way that you could cross pins and hack the old systems. So, what's interesting here, of course, is if you combine the news that they basically said, hey, we're going to slow down uh, on this, but we're actually going to ramp up production on something new for Nintendo. That's what we heard out of China. And then and that's happening this year. And then you're hearing from this person that, hey, they used to work at this company. He worked on the tape out process for the T239, which means it's done and ready to go. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch 2 at some point this year, if not already, has entered mass production. Why would it be entering mass production right now? Seems like that leans towards a holiday 2023 release. Again, speculating, it's not for sure, but it seems, it seems like that is the case. 
Um, I, I, I don't know 1,000% obviously what's going to happen. I, I All I can say, all I can say is I'm ready, man. I think a lot of us have been ready for, for maybe a year or two. A lot of people watching this video, you know, if you're watching this video, you've probably been following this information all along. And again, big shout out to Doc Trey 81 I'm just ready. Look, whether it's this year or next year, none of us really, really know. Only Nintendo, NVIDIA probably knows as well. Uh, and, you know, the manufacturing plants involved making the stuff, obviously they know too. I just find it fascinating that uh, we're entering this period where everything seems to be stacking up for either a holiday release this year or sometime in 2024. Remember, entering mass production now, they can obviously bank up units and save it for a 2024 launch. They don't have to launch a product now just because the product's being put in the mass manufacturing this year, right? They could have it in mass manufacturing to bank up units for the launch period next year because what is mass manufacturing? Does that mean they're making 10 million units this year or are they just making like 500,000, you know? And, and then they'll they'll just keep ramping that up till they have a couple million for launch next year, right? Because they're still making the current switch. Those switch lines aren't shut down yet. Even though we have a report that one of the major switch lines will be shut down at some point later this year to shift over to manufacturing this, it's still one of those things where, but until then, they're still making switches, right? So I, I, I don't know what this means other than by the end of 2024, we should have a Switch 2 here. Whatever they call it. It might not be a Switch 2. They, they, they can brand it whatever they want, but it's coming. It's happening. And for those curious, yes, this chip works directly in line with the chips that we've had on the Switch, which would suggest this is probably another hybrid device. So I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there as well. Not that there was any doubt, but some people still were hoping like, oh, Nintendo is going to make a traditional home console right now. I don't know if the, if Nintendo's ever gonna do that again. If I'm if I'm being just completely frank with you, I don't I don't see Nintendo doing that. But who knows? Time will tell. You let me know what you think about this down in the comments below because I'm very curious. Like having direct evidence that this is you know entering manufacturing is huge because before it was just like oh we speculate we think there's reports. Now we have proof that the chip has been taped out, which means it's entering mass manufacturing. When don't know it happened. Obviously, already, it's already been done. So how long it's been in production for? How long they've been mass manufacturing it? How many other components for the next Switch are being manu mass manufactured? We don't know. But we just know that this is coming, and it's coming fast. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Are you ready to see what this new device has to offer? And when do you think Nintendo will unveil it? Do you think it's coming next year? Do you think it's coming you know, this year, do you have a specific time period? Do you think Nintendo is going to announce it? How are they going to announce it? Are they going to tease an announcement event ahead of time? Is it only going to be like a normal Nintendo Direct 24-hour noticing? Are they just going to drop a random trailer on a Tuesday and, hey, here's that new device, and you're like, wait, what? Or will they plan a big media event around it? Let me know. I'll catch you guys in that next video.